shortly after September 11th, everyone that I spoke to would say, you're blessed. God has a purpose for you. Wow, it's so great that you survived. And for a very long time, every time someone said one of those words to me, I would say to myself, I don't think so. This is a tremendous burden that I'm carrying with me, the burden of memory, and there's nothing blessed about it. Most of my friends were killed on September 11th. My brother, who was my best friend, was killed. It's March 2008. I still struggle every night with that moment in time. I just sat down, and then somebody came running into my office. And they said, oh my god, did you hear that a plane hit the World Trade Center? And I was like, no, I just got here. It just hit the, the World Trade Center, a, a plane, a whole plane. And I was like, wow. I mean, I couldn't believe it. To me, it seemed just like something, you know, on TV. Every animal is born with the capacity to be afraid. So we don't have to learn how to be afraid. What we learn is what to be afraid of in our lives. Fear spreads very easily between people. It's contagious. It spreads to the people around you directly, to people who hear about it, and on and on. It starts from one thought that then spreads contagiously. Just as fear can spread within a society, so can anxiety spread within the society of your mind. Let me just interrupt you for a minute, Please. because we have a new piece of footage that has come in that gives us a, another perspective, yet another perspective, of the tragedy as it was literally unfolding this day, showing that second plane from a different angle as it slammed into the 